sunshine at last. And it came on Derby Day when close on half a million crowded Epsom Downs to enjoy the biggest day of the racing calendar. It's the People's Day. And as this is the age of the affluent society, cars brought thousands of them, all kinds of people from near and far, some from very far. Strange indeed would be the man or woman to whom the Derby made no appeal. It's the 183rd renewal of the Derby Stakes, and never has the fascination of the greatest of all classics been stronger. For the rich, the not so rich, and the by no means rich, a wonderful day out. And through all its changes, the Derby's a Cockney festival, much as it always was. If you never tried it, you don't know you're born. Jelly deals. Nothing better for the Derby Day picnic at Epsom. As for the future, a dark, handsome man. Who knows? Dear old Prince Monolulu, evergreen, still going strong, still got a horse. If they can't make money at the Derby, it's a poor show. They can make more than a monkey out of you at Epsom. Look, a pickpocket. And as the song says, have you ever caught your fingers in a mousetrap? A cast iron way to lose your money. Find the lady with variations. The waiting's over. Only the preliminaries to be got through. One big disappointment, the Queen was unable to be present because of a heavy cold. The jockeys are there now, a few minutes and the great race will be on. T Masters up on Song of Pan. G Ramshaw mounts Spartan General. And now the horses begin to leave the paddock and the last minute money floods into the bookies' satchels. Heatherstedt is still favourite, but it's the most open derby for many years. So gay-hearted punters, women especially, have a flutter on the outsiders and daydream of a marvellous win. They're loosening up now, getting the stiffness out of them. Peter Jones is a non-runner, but all the remaining 26 will be starters. There's a French challenge, as always, with last year's winner, Roger Poncelet, up on Arcourt. And everybody's saying how the Queen would have loved it all. The favourite Heather set, a horse of class every inch of him. With Harry Carr riding him, his supporters say he can't lose. But how open a derby it all is, the racing writers prove for no two of them predict the same winner. If only we could just look a few minutes into the future. All 26 of them come under starter's orders. There seems to be, understandably enough, a little nervousness at the gate, as if the horses themselves could sense how much is at stake. Just when they seem fairly settled, Scoby Breezley has doubts about Prince Amour. The horse was lightly kicked, but the vet okays him, and Alex Marsh prepares for the start. They're off, a mile and a half of tough going, and the prospect of fame and fortune. Romanchero, Valentine, River Chanter, Silver Cloud and the still well-fancied Moralgo lead the field at this stage, which is much too early to have any significance. At the top of the hill, Romanchero maintains his lead, Duncan Keith up. And now it's downhill as they pound on towards Tattenham Corner. And what's this? A riderless horse in the derby. Whatever's happened? As they round Tattenham Corner, the blinkered Valentine has the lead from River Chanter. Sebring and stable companion Larkspur are both there with a chance. Four loose horses now. 
There's never been anything like this at the Derby. Leaving the corner behind, they come into the straight, where the good stayer, the true Derby horse, comes into his own. With a tremendous burst, Neville Selwood brings Larkspur to the front. Sebring close behind. Arcol, Cantillion and Escort all in close attendance. There's no stopping Larkspur. The Irish horse holds off the challenge of Arcor and La Cantillion to win magnificently by two lengths. The explanation now of those riderless horses. Approaching Tattenham Corner, there was a mass fall of seven. But the glory of Larkspur is undimmed. An Irish horse, American-owned, with an Australian jockey. Quite a combination. Mr. Raymond Guest was a proud man indeed as he led the great horse to the unsaddling enclosure, the end of perhaps the most sensational derby ever run.